Let's talk about Nutrafol, a hair loss vitamin that I get a lot of questions about. The number one question I get asked, is it effective for treating hair loss? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you. We're gonna talk about the ingredients that make up the Nutrafol vitamin, the pros and cons of taking Nutrafol, and the scientific research. After all of that, you're going to have a better appreciation for whether you should take this hair loss vitamin on a daily basis or if you're wasting your time. What's important for you to understand is that there are a lot of people who want to avoid taking pharmaceutical medications to stimulate hair growth. Instead, there's a desire to use something that's natural to stimulate hair growth and prevent hair loss. That's where Nutrafol comes in. 2016, the company launched. They're now the leading industry hair loss vitamin, really, in the entire United States. And there's a lot of interest around this vitamin in terms of how effective it is to help with hair growth. And so it's understandable that there are a lot of people that want to avoid pharmaceutical medications, number one, potentially from side effects that can occur from taking hair loss meds, as well as there's a fear of the long-term consequences of being on certain hair loss medications. So. We're gonna talk about what the ingredients are in Nutrafol so you have a better appreciation and understanding for whether it's really that effective. Now, it's important for you to understand that there are really eight key ingredients that make up the Nutrafol vitamin. Each one of these ingredients has a different role to play when it comes to addressing hair loss. And there's a lot of thought that went into designing this vitamin because they didn't just think about addressing the physiologic issues with the hair growth or the hair loss. They also thought about how how to target stress, hormonal imbalances, nutritional deficiencies, and scalp inflammation. Because targeting those other issues contributes to addressing the hair growth and hair loss components. So first on the list is saw palmetto. It's derived from a plant. It's one of my favorite ingredients in the Nutrafol vitamin. And that's because it's a natural DHT blocker. I've spoken about DHT blockers in previous videos. DHT is a hormone that's a major contributor for hair loss for both men and women. There's no avoiding DHT. So if we can use a natural way to block the buildup of DHT, it's a huge, huge win. Saw palmetto works by blocking an enzyme known as 5-alpha reductase. You decrease the ability for testosterone to go to DHT, and therefore you have less DHT floating in the bloodstream that can contribute to hair loss. So big win to have saw palmetto in this vitamin. Now it is worth pointing out that saw palmetto is not going to be as effective as using finasteride or dutasteride to decrease floating DHT. Saw palmetto will decrease DHT by about 30 to 50% whereas these pharmaceutical medications will decrease it by 60 to 90%. So there is a significant difference there. But if you're looking for a natural way to decrease DHT, you certainly want to see saw palmetto incorporated into a vitamin like Nutrafol. Now, the other thing that's very important for you to understand, and the company has made this very clear, you should not be taking any vitamins that have saw palmetto when you're pregnant. It is not safe. And in fact, the company does not recommend that you take their vitamin during pregnancy. The next ingredient is ashwagandha. And I have to say, this is the coolest name for an ingredient that I've ever heard. Ashwagandha is derived from leaves and roots from a shrub that's found in Africa, the Middle East, and parts of India. It's important as an ingredient because it targets stress, specifically cortisol levels. We know that when our body's stressed, our hair thins and we get hair shedding. This is known as telogen effluvium. I made an entire video about this if you wanna check that hair loss condition out. Now, if you take ashwagandha, that can help lower stress levels, which can be a contributor for preventing hair shedding. So seeing ashwagandha incorporated into this vitamin is a big one. And then we get to marine collagen. And yes, collagen is very important as the building blocks to form our hair follicles. But many of us have more than adequate amounts of collagen that we get in our diet. So this might be overkill. And the other thing that you have to keep in mind is that if you have a fish allergy, you should absolutely avoid Nutrafol vitamins because the collagen here is derived from fish. And then we get the two vitamins that I really like, vitamin E and vitamin D. Vitamin E acts as an antioxidant to prevent oxidative stress to the hair follicles. It also helps to stimulate blood circulation to the scalp to bring oxygen and nutrients to help with hair growth. Vitamin D, there's some evidence to demonstrate it helps prevent hair shedding. So preventing that 
telogen and effluvian that we talked about earlier. It is nice to see that there's zinc and iodine incorporated into this vitamin. Now zinc is important for hair follicle health, but I wanna warn you, taking too much zinc can cause a copper deficiency. And iodine, iodine is important for promoting the health of our thyroid. But remember, we can have a hypothyroid or a hypothyroid. And if you take too much iodine, guess what? You can potentially cause hormonal imbalances or an uptick in acne. So one of the things that I really stress to anyone thinking about going on hair loss vitamins, you must get blood work before so that you have a baseline understanding of where your levels are. The last thing you wanna do is cause a modification to something that's already normal. You might already have normal iodine levels. You might already have normal zinc levels. And using this vitamin, you're going to actually contribute to other health issues. So keep that in mind. And then finally, we get to biotin, which is also known as vitamin B7. And yes, biotin is an important component that works with keratin to build our hair follicles. However, it is extremely unlikely that you have a biotin deficiency because it's very, very rare. So supplementing with additional biotin with a vitamin is really not necessary. With that said, in the Nutrafol vitamin, it's probably a trace amount of biotin. I wouldn't be overly concerned, but just recognize you really don't need to add additional biotin. It's not going to really be that effective to address any hair loss that you're experiencing. Now we know that Nutrafol, based upon their website, take a scientific approach to addressing hair loss with their vitamins. But we have to be very skeptical when we look at the research because much of the research has been self-funded by the company. They did a study in 2018 looking at 80 women who ranged in ages from their early 20s up to their mid 60s who self-reported hair loss. And this hair loss could have been androgenetic alopecia, alopecia areata, telogen effluvian, frontal fibrosing alopecia. That's one of the issues with this study. It was a double-blinded placebo group where one group was given the neutrophil vitamin and the other group was not. And they measured the response three months and six months taking these vitamins and it was self-reported. So they'd call the patients on the phone or they'd see them in person and they would say, has this helped you? 80% said it helped them improve their hair growth. And I'm not saying that it didn't have a role to play, but this study would have been more effective if these patients were monitored, if they were examined with instruments like trichoscopy devices. The fact that they were self-reporting that they had an improvement in their hair growth makes me question there might be some bias introduced into these studies. So I just wanna emphasize again, be a little skeptical about what you read on these hair loss websites with their percentages, because sometimes they are manipulating the numbers so that they're a little more biased towards people wanting to use their vitamins. And it's important for you to understand that Nutrafol, though it's derived from plants and it's natural, is not without its side effects. Too much zinc can lead to a copper deficiency. Too much iodine leads to an uptick in acne. Too much biotin can manipulate your blood work and it can cause gastrointestinal issues, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and bloating. The other thing that you have to think about when you're using Nutrafol is its cost. It's about $80 a month. So it can cost you close to $1,000 a year. And you really have to be consistent when you take Nutrafol. It's four pills a day. From a compliance standpoint, that's really tough. In fact, I had a patient last week who was complaining about how often they had to take the pills. It's a lot and you have to be consistent because if you stop taking the Nutrafol pills, it's gonna lose all of its effectiveness. So it's not always the best approach, in my opinion, to addressing your hair loss because number one, I think the cost is very prohibitive. If you have insurance, most of the medications are covered by your insurance. And number two, it's very hard to be compliant with these vitamins. With that said, I do think if you're someone who's looking for a natural way to address hair loss, you don't wanna use medications, I do think Nutrafol has a role to play. And if you're someone who's currently breastfeeding, you're thinking about getting pregnant, but you're not currently pregnant, I think Nutrafol is certainly a vitamin that you can explore using. But my big takeaway is, I'm not the first one to prescribe Nutrafol to my patients. It's really super low on my totem pole in terms of recommending it to patients because I think from a compliance standpoint and from a cost standpoint, and also from an effectiveness standpoint, it's not really 
that wonderful. Look, at the end of the day, I'm here on YouTube making videos about hair loss because I want to show you what works and what's not as effective. If you have any questions about Nutrafol that I've not addressed, please leave them in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button because we're trying to grow our community. And as always, I'm here on your journey to help you address your hair loss.